Hello, it's Bud. Uh, this is in no way a comprehensive view. This is just a quick look at Pattern Editor to get an overview of some of the things that can happen. Uh, I haven't worked with it that much. I'm just playing. But I want to show you what I've learned and it may help with the question at hand. Okay, I'm presuming that you have already accepted the pattern that you scanned or that you uh, got from another source other than a purchase program uh, or something that might have come over the forum that is locked. Uh, you cannot edit every pattern that comes in. But the question is, I've got a picture and I want to take the background off of it. And like I say, we presume that you've accepted it with the background uh, as you were going through that process, you may have been able to eliminate the background by lowering um, the frame. Uh, but we're beyond that. So let's go get a picture. What I'm going to do is here, I've got a board up. I'm going to click on Pattern Editor. And I'm going to Favorites. And I'm going to get something. Um, I've got to pick something, so I'll be right back. Okay, here's a portrait of a person. Now, instead of dragging it over the board or anything, I'm just going to double click and I'm going to bring it up within Pattern Editor. And I'm going to bring this thing down to size. Okay, I think we can see all the essentials. And what first question was, it's okay, I want to get rid of this out, uh, outer area, the box around the picture. What do I do? Well, I'm going to click on the magic wand. And I'm going to click somewhere in this green area. And it outlines all of the green area in this case. We're lucky in that the, in that the background is solid. Okay. So now what I want to do is I want to go use my tools. And right now I don't see him. Hold on. Staring me right in the face, right up here. Okay, I want to use this. And right here is the height that it's dealing with right now. And I want it to go away, so I'm going to click on that so I can change it. And I'm going to change it to zero. But I'm going to use this paint can, and I'm going to come down here. And I'm going to click, and bingo, the background is gone. Now I have a problem, or a potential problem. I don't see it there. Okay. Uh, I guess there is no potential problem there. And if it's clean with no dots or anything on it, I've done just that. Now I also have the ability to come up to filter and raise and lower this figure. Uh, smooth it, blur it, denoise it, quantize it, whatever. I have to be careful because some things, uh, if I do it, uh, may not be the best thing in the world. To get out of this with the dotted line now, what I have to do is come back over here to this box to the left of the magic wand is what I found. Click on it and then click into my picture and I'm back to the way I am. Okay. That's quick and easy. Let's take another picture and see what we can. Oh, well, let's, let's finish this. As I get out of this, <coughs> I can either go to file and save this and I would save it as Dicky Dash one um, in my patterns wherever I want my patterns. Um, and I also will get a chance here to save the original or overwrite the original. Um, I prefer not to overwrite the original. I, I would prefer working with my own pattern uh, and then if later on I want to make that my original 
or replace my original. With that, I can. But that's just my choice. I don't want to lose either the original or the secondary copy. So I would just say don't save. And I haven't changed this. Okay, now let's go get a different picture. A little more complicated. Okay, here's a picture of Jesus and a lamb. Okay, now this one's more complicated on the background, but basically what I want to do is I want to leave this hill here, if I can. And I want to leave this, but have his head um, stand out alone. I could even get rid of this whole side if I wanted to add this. Um, that would work. The only problem with this picture is I don't have his full arm. Uh, otherwise, it would be ideal. Uh, but again, I'm going to click on the magic wand. And I'm going to click in one of these areas. And what I clicked on now is the only areas that will change. I'm going to go to my paint can. And it is at zero. So I can click here, and I can get rid of that. Click here, nothing happens. If I click up here, nothing happens. Click over here. Click over here. And it's piecemeal. Okay. So now I come up to the box, click. Oops. What's going on here? Oh, wrong box there. Click, and I'm there. Okay, now I can do the magic wand again, and come over here this area again go back to the paint can set zero and I can do that uh, and I can keep on going um, cancel that magic wand come here go to the paint can set zero click here and I get rid of that but I have a problem now if I roll my mouse wheel. I can make that picture larger so I can see what's going on. Uh, I can center it how I want it as I do this. Uh, and I can see that this bright green line is something I'll have to deal with all over the picture. And we're not going to do this whole picture. We're just going to do this side here. Um, so I have a couple different ways. Okay, number one click on the box, click in the picture, get rid of that. Um, I can box in an area and not touch anything else. I can go to my paint can and I can try to set it on these green lines. And I got rid of those. I can get rid of that get rid of that. I can do them in blocks as long as they're large and connected. But I may end up with some things that are not connected. Now what I can do is I can go to paintbrush, set it to zero, and now just to show you, if I come down here, I'm on the paintbrush, I'm at zero, so it should give me this null background. If I hold down my left button and push around in here nothing happens okay same thing with the right button so it's not doing anything here but if I come in this box and hold down my button I can just erase this just by moving back and forth and keeping the button held down and I can clean that area I can go in little circles I can do whatever I want however you want to clean the, the blackboard again click my square click in here and it's gone. And I can deal with some of these things with boxes. See, even the eraser is at 255. So I, I, I would, you know, I can use a paintbrush just like an eraser. See? Because it's at 255. Um, because the eraser is at 255, I'm just going to keep on the paintbrush at zero. Okay, click on the box, and click over here, and I'll be back in a minute.
Okay, we took care of the phone call, so we're back here. Uh, so we've talked about the filter and being able to raise and lower the things on the picture. Uh, and we talked about saving it as a pattern. Uh, and I save them to my own special files. Uh, you do not have to save them right back into the pattern library. Uh, and you'll still have them uh, from that standpoint. Uh, or you can save it back. But I want to show you one of the things that can happen and what we can do. If I click on the, uh, let me do this again. If I click on the filter, click on raise and lower, and lower this, I can actually accidentally remove a lot of its hair. Okay? I didn't mean to do that. I can cancel it, but if I say okay, it's there. And, you know, I may I may think I'm lost, but I can come up to edit and click on undo and get rid of that. And I can do multiple clicks on undo to step back to get me where I want to be. So that is just a quick look at Pattern Editor. I hope that helps.